<gasps> you should watch the next part, part two, which in French means part next. The next part. Here it is. Okay guys, the magazine says to mimic popular culture with a grand romantic gesture, so here we go. This is a mistake. So, we burst into the room and then you, October, you play the music, then Addison, you hit both me and Alex with the love arrows. Right, with the love suction cups for safety. Exactly, and then I'll say, oh look, we've both been hit by Cupid's arrow or something, and then I kiss her, maybe. Anyway, she'll find it romantic. Crad, what Alexandra finds romantic is not this. We used to romantically role play. Her and I would play this character where she was like normal and I was a sex horse and I would be Romancio and then she'd pull my hair. Okay, back. you know what? Shh. Shh. Let's do this. Okay. Okay. Go, 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 go. I am a Cupid. Happy Valentine's Day, Alexander. Crad, please shut your gob. You're interrupting Jesse's special Valentine's Day surprise. It's perfect. He's phoning his husband on speakerphone. <laughs> Hey! I got everyone gathered around the speakerphone. I just wanted to tell you how much I love you, baby. Aww. I don't even like these fuck wallets, but I want to share our love with them. Aww. Guys, we're running out of time. Do something! Such as? Oh, I got it. I'm Cupid. Love Arrow! Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> love Arrow! Oh. Well, how about that? <laughs> Shall we dance? Sure, why not? <laughs> oh, baby, I wish you were here. This shit just got gay. All right. Oh, yeah. God damn it. I know. Let's sing a Christmas carol. A happy one? No, a creepy one. Bum, 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 are you aware that's your third green beer in four minutes? A challenge, eh? Manipulative Man magazine says to use alcohol to gain confidence. I'm charming when I'm drunk. You think you are. Oh, and she's drunk too. Maybe you'll both think you're charming. Time to use a bit of that Irish courage. Mm-hmm. One other beer? Oh. All right. Hey, great party, Alexandra. Well, let's face it, it isn't. Everyone wishes it was one of my father's parties. His parties were more legendary. Shut the fuck up, Addison. Can I offer you some more green beer? Thanks, Crash. Mm -hmm. Can I offer you something in return? Sure, what? Sex. What? Sex. Hot sex, Crad. Right now. I want you to take me to my office, and you and I will have drunken Office party sex. Yeah, yeah, okay, let's let's do that. Sure. April Fools! Woo! All right! Just 14 minutes till Easter! <laughs> oh. oh my god, oh my god. No. that's so sad. Well, that was humiliating. Oh, no, buddy, that wasn't humiliating at all. Really? No, April Fools! A April, April Fools! Fools! <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. You guys are really good friends. Don't worry, Crad. We are as yet but halfway through the holidays. We still believe in you. April Fools believe in me? Yes. April Fools! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hate this song. Easter is the day when Jesus came back from the dead as a flying zombie. Before zooming off to heaven, he transformed all of his enemies into bunny rabbits, and they hid eggs for good Christian children. Admittedly, that's the most logical explanation of Easter I've ever heard. Now, I've hidden eggs around this entire room. Some are easy to find, and some will never be found. Ever! Let the hunt begin! Maybe you should just try talking to Alexandra. It seems to be working for Rebecca. I still got a few tricks up my sleeve. The magazine says to find a point of emotional trauma and exploit it. That sounds moral. Hey, Mother's Day's next. How's Alexandra's relationship with her mom? Do not go there. <laughs> Others will say, do not go there. But there is exactly where you must go, brave explorer, because there is where your treasure awaits. <laughs> Come on, honey. Here it comes, push, push, I can see it, come on! What the fuck? What the hell is this? 
Honey, I can explain. Is it that rooster again? Uh, no fucking cock! Hey, Alexandra, smoking again, huh? Apparently so. Oh, I get it. You know, Mother's Day must be hard on you. Why do you say that? Why, you just, you never talk about her. You must miss her. Mommy! Please stop! You're drunk! Mommy needs to practice for the circus. No. Yeah, moms can be tough. Oh, just shut it, all right? Just fucking shut your fuck mouth. Fucking shut it. Shut your fucking mouth. My mom's dead. Lucky. We went there, bald explorer. It must be tough not having a mom. We always do breakfast in bed for Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day, Addison. Aw, breakfast in bed? Get in. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> oh, bacon. <laughs> Daddy, Uncle Ivan, I was just wondering if you'd changed your mind about coming to the party. This is the party. But, Daddy, please, we've almost reached Father's Day. Fathers? Who needs them? We never knew our father. And we turned out just fine. Daddy, please, come downstairs. Never. Fine. Slap. <laughs>